Hi everybody, this is David with Cartoon Fortress. I've got another unboxing video for you today. Uh, previously on the channel, I unboxed a few of the sets from Indicator, which is a line by uh, Powerhouse Films. And in those unboxings, I featured the second uh, volume of the William Castle collection. And I was yet to get the, the first volume. Well, I have fixed that because today we're going to be unboxing the first volume of the William Castle collection from Indicator. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here's a look at the set. Um, so the first box that we had kind of that white finish on this, uh, the first volume we have the black finish. So nice contrast there. So let's go ahead and well, let's take a look, a quick look around. So we have this, what they call the the uh, belly band for the box set, which includes the list of films. So we have The Tingler, 13 Ghosts, Homicidal, and Mr. Sardonicus. All right, so let's travel to the side here. So we have the four films in there, the back here. And then this is a limited edition set. We have number 3,024 of 6,000. There's a look at each of the four films and then the side there. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I've been really impressed with the sets that um, Powerhouse has put out. This indicator line is really fun. I've I've got a good deal of them. I need to get, um, I have three of four volumes of the hammer sets that they've put out. So I need to get the volume four on that, which I am sure will happen sooner rather than later. But let's go ahead and take the belly band off. It's kind of giggle every time I say that. <laughs> um, all right, so here we have uh, spine numbers 94, 95, 96, and 97. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look here. So we have the fun cover here. There's the side and then the back. So if you want to take a look, you can pause here. There's a significant amount of extra features included. Um, so the Tingler is 1959, comes in a runtime of 82 minutes. Um, and all of these are in black and white. Oh, it looks like the Tingler and 13 Ghosts are black and white, plus they have a color version. 13 Ghosts is 1960 at a runtime of 85 minutes. Homicidal is 1961 with a runtime of 88 minutes. And Mr. Sardonicus is 1961 as well with a runtime of 90 minutes. And as indicated at the bottom here, this is, looks like region free. So you can play this on all, uh, all Blu-ray players. All right, so we'll go ahead and set that box aside. Really nice, hefty box there. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this film by film. So the first one we have here is The Tingler. When the screen screams, you'll scream too if you value your life. All right, and here's the back on this one. Can you take it when the tingler breaks loose? I guess we'll have to see. All right. So opening this up so we get these nice, nice thick books that these always come with. Very nice indeed. All right, and here's our disc and then we get the alternate artwork here which looks like includes a warning a disclaimer of liability which this is the kind of fun edge that William Castle brought to the movie going experience it's really what he's known for all right so that's the tingler here we have 13 ghosts, 13 times the thrills, 13 times the screams, and 13 times the fun. And this features Illusiono. 
Yes, 13 times the entertainment when you use the new Ghost Viewer. Free for everyone who sees the movie. That'd be neat if they included the Ghost Viewer in the set, which I doubt they do. Wonder if any of those are floating around on eBay. All right, so there's a look at the extra features, a ghost for every member of the family. No, no, no ghost viewer. Okay, but we get a really great, uh, again, thick booklet. <laughs> Sorry, visitors, too shocking today. Try us tomorrow. All right. There's the artwork on the disc. And then the reversible art, free, free, free ghost viewer. Okay. All right, and the third film here is Homicidal, Special Fright Break. There will be a special fright break during the showing of Homicidal. All those too timid to take the climax will be welcomed to the coward's corner. <laughs> the story of a psychotic killer. It's so great. So, so great. All right, so here's the limited edition Blu-ray special features. The picture with a fright break. All right, looks like dinner is served. There's the cover here. Nothing good happening there. All right, really great. Really great booklet. I was trying to see it. Seems like I, there we go. Yeah, there's a mention of Hitchcock's Psycho Time Magazine's unexpected review considered Castle's variation on a theme as a superior movie to Hitchcock's Psycho, saying it surpasses its model in structure, suspense, and sheer nervous drive. Um, I'll have to watch it and see if I agree. Psycho is one of my top 10 favorite films of all time. It's an absolute classic. But yeah, there, there was um, advertising. So uh, upon the start of the film, Psycho, in theaters, there was to be no one permitted uh, into the theater so that you wouldn't miss out on plot points and things like that. So that was kind of unique uh, for Hitchcock to kind of go that route. All right, so there's the reversible artwork there and this when did because psycho was 1960 okay so this is 1961 so yeah on the heels of psycho homicidal all right so here's the last one this is mr sardonicus special punishment poll mercy or no mercy for mr sardonicus in the spirit of foul play, you will decide during the punishment poll by voting thumbs up or thumbs down with your ballot card. <laughs> and the ballot card glows in the dark. Bonus. All right, so here's a list of the special features. A man so evil, his face could stop a heart. I assume this is the Mr. Sardonicus they speak of. All right, again, lots of lots of great content to get to. All right, and this reversible art is a lot more colorful. 
really cool. And there's the disc art. All right, so that is all four films there housed in this very nice box. All right, and then let's get, of course, the Billy Band back on. Mr. Sardonicus needs his Billy Band. All right, so really impressed with this set. Can't wait to dive into these movies. Um, yeah, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know if Indicator is a line that you've been collecting, if it's something you'd like to collect. Um, I know this one is still in print. They, they've kind of been dropping off little by little. If you go to their website, um, powerhousefilms.co.uk, I think, um, then uh, you can see, just go to their limited edition sets and then you can see what's still in print. I, I believe, yeah, this one is still in, um, but there's some that are that are now OOP. So if it's something you're interested in, um, definitely worth going and checking out. I know that on Amazon, they have a lot of these sets available. In fact, the new uh, Hammer Volume 4 ships directly from Amazon. Um, and that's the one of that's the one uh, from the Hammer collection sets that I don't have. So I'll be picking that up soon. And that's nice because then you can get it prime shipped and have it in no time. So anyways, um, if you found this video, video helpful in any way, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like button. And let's keep the conversation on film going. And until next time, this is David signing off with Cartoon Fortress, wishing you a happy day.